Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Mono 09, Iron Man, Living Laser, and Whirlwind from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Whirlwind has an interesting head sculpt. I would love to see what's underneath, but I also don't want to in a way. The lips look kind of weirdly done, and the eyes are done pretty well. The helmet's really nice though. I love the metallic sheen to it, and the texturing is really nice on it. The marbleization doesn't really bother me that much. It's a nice head sculpt. Good and silver over here a little bit, back and forth a tiny bit, pivot a little bit. It's a solid head sculpt for Whirlwind. Whirlwind has an interesting looking body. I like the silverness to it. It's pretty cool. Cool. It's an old body mold though. I do like this though. It's pretty neat on that. On the other hand, we have these cool saw blades on here that are really nice and they spin a little bit. They have another function we'll talk about later. These go up a little bit, but they can crash into here. It's not too far up. All the way around is pretty solid on that. You just swivel over here, double joint elbow over there, very nice and down. Swivel over here and down and up. And that's pretty cool. We also get a back this far, forward this far. Swivel over here. It's nice for whirlwind. And the legs we've seen before, marbly, shiny, good looking with these really cool boots. I've always loved these boots, like buccaneer boots in a way. They're great. You get out this far and in, up this far, really far, and back pretty okay. Up this far, really nice over there and down. The boot does hinder it a little bit. You get a swivel up here and a swivel down here and a down and up and a pivot, which you pay goes to the bottom of the feet. Very nicely done body for this guy. I actually like Whirlwind a lot. He's pretty cool. The accessories he comes with are in the form of these saw blades. They're pretty nicely done. You can swivel them a little bit and also take them off here. You can fit them into his hands pretty well, like a discus or something. It's very neat and looks really cool. Living Laser has a similar head sculpt to Whirlwind in that kind of helmet bucket look. You call him Pinhead. I do like it. It's pretty cool. Just very weird, I gotta say. I also want to say that there isn't much articulation at all. Tiny bit of swivel and that's it. I think it's scratching the paint over here too. It's okay, but really not that great. I prefer something else maybe. The body's pretty interesting. I do like the translucency as well as the electricness of it. We have these kind of pods on his shoulders over here as well as more electricity coming off of his chest and a big grinding light with some lightning bolts coming down his arms and some spikes over here. That's really awesome. Looks super cool. And the back is really nice too. Wish we were painted a little bit over here, but you know they don't do the backs that much, but then it is just, but whatever. It's nicely done too. You get up this far and down all the way around over here. Butterfly joint two over there. You swivel over here. Double joint elbow over there. Swivel and then up and down for that. And then a crunch back. Really nice. Painted back there. Crunch forward. Really nice. Painted back there. And up with a swivel over here. It's a really good body sculpt for living laser with some great paint too. The legs aren't really boring, they just make me want to eat them. They look really yummy and candy coated and pretty fun. This is stupid though. I do like how this looks though, it's really nice. I've always liked translucent figures. You get out this far and in, up this far and then back pretty okay. All the way back is good as well, very nice. You get some swivel up here, swivel down here, down and up with a pivot and two goes up on the feet. Very nice figure. I like how he looks except for the head. It's a shame. The rest of the body is just super awesome. For accessories, it comes with two lightning pieces. They're rubbery. We've seen them before in characters like Electro. They look nice for this figure and are pretty cool, but I think he could use a bit more. Here I've outfitted Living Laser with electricity and it looks really cool. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I had to move a lot of pieces behind him to get the effect, but it looks awesome from pretty much all angles. It's really neat to see, even if the rubber is kind of failing on me on some parts like the legs, but it's super cool to have. Here are Whirlwind and Living Laser standing next to the retrocarded Iron Man, and they look pretty much in scale with each other, Whirlwind being super tall, Living Laser being pretty good in the middle, and then Retro Iron Man being pretty short at least, but they look nice together. With Whirlwind standing at about six and a half, six and a quarter inches tall, and Living Laser standing at about just under six inches tall. And here are Whirlwind and Living Laser standing next to Jesse Heck Creative. Dear customer, this lava lamp and buzzsaw you purchased were out of stock, so we gave you actual real people. People posing as these items. Well, you guys heard the thing. Go to my shed. Here is the box for Iron Man Model 09. It looks so classic. Iron Man over here, logos over there. On the back, following a devastating loss to firepower, Tony Stark pours his skill into designing an experimental new Iron Man suit to defend Stark Industries. We have the accessories over here, legally is over there, more logos up there. Now let's open up this Iron Man. Rip, 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 rip the box, rip. Rip, rip the box, rip, rip, rip the box, rip, 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 take, take, take the figure out of, of the plastic, click, click, rip, 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 get the accessories out of the box so they can get into the hands of the figure that I'm going to put them on because they need to go in the hands of the figure that I'm going to put on. Why are you so difficult to put on and move away from the pieces? I am almost done. I only have these things to go. Hey, I remember these pieces. They were really good. Now to move this away and the figures right here. 
Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and hit the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. I really love this head sculpt. It's super awesome. We have seen it before. I think there are a few differences though. There's no line over here on the retro as opposed to this one looking very nice. We also have black in here. Very good as well as this kind of metallic yellow. The rest is just kind of a metallic red looking awesome. We can swivel over here up and down pretty well on a non dumbbell joint. Swivel over here as well as a little bit of pivot and we have a nice head for Tony Stark. The red is metallic. The yellow is kind of metallic. It looks really awesome. I love the paint over here. Muscular abs over there looking really nice all the way around just very simple and plain i love the little highlight over here these little two dots on that it's super nice to see back this far forward this far civil over here a pretty okay brand new joints coming here pretty good gotta work them out a little bit going all the way around swivel over here as those double joint pinless tech elbows awesome and down civil and then up and down over here kind of not really wanting to work for me that's strange they're just okay but yeah it's a nice body sculpt and i love this kind of look for Iron Man. The legs for Model 09 Iron Man are pretty nice. I do like the yellow over here and the chunky clunky boots are pretty fun too. Go out this far and in, up this far and back. All the way back is pretty nice too. And down, swivel over here, swivel over here at the boot with a down kind of and an up kind of and then a pivot a little bit. Too big goes up on the feet. I do like the weathering over here and the wash is nice. Wish it was more on the figure though. It's a little simple for my taste in a way, but I do like how it looks at least from the top to down and the head's really cool too. He comes with two repulsor blast hands with pegs this time they do have wash on them and they're a little bit differently colored than the rest of the body it's kind of weird get a swivel out of that and that's it i wish there was more swiveling or hinging or something better on this than what we have now of course, he comes with two repulsor blasts, old style. I love how these look. They're really nice. They're a translucent blue and are just super cool. Oh yeah. You can also put these into his feet, but the pegs are kind of far back. I wish they were in the middle or something. It's kind of weird. He also comes with some bluish smoke effects. I'm not sure what these are meant to be. Really, it's kind of weird to me. Why not have more repulsor blasts for that instead of these? It's just strange. They look cool like he's just fired the effect, but really, I don't know why you'd want that. More repulsor blasts, please, instead of these. You can again put these on his feet it's just okay basically i don't know it looks weird honestly here's model 09 iron man next to living laser and whirlwind they look pretty good together with model 09 iron man staying at about six and a quarter inches tall or so at a pretty good height and here's model 09 iron man next to the classic retro iron man and they look nice together they are different types of iron men however i find this one to be a little bit better in some ways and this one better in other ways if we can match them out maybe the boots be better on one of them or both of them we would have an amazing Iron Man figure instead of a really good one. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Samus, it's me. I found some Phazon. Yeah, I'll send you a sample later on. What do you mean also watch out for the X-Parasite? <laughs> They've been gone for years. Overall, metallic and translucent. Whirlwind is a better figure than I gave him credit for. I love the helmet and buzz saws, and the body sculpt is really nice too, especially those boots. Living Laser lacks something. Maybe it's the electric effects. Hopefully they'll redo him someday and give him his due, but right now he's still pretty good and kind of chewy. Model 09 Iron Man is nice, has a few flaws with the joints being incredibly new and those weird smoke effects, but once I get over that, I'll have a really nice classic Iron Man. If you're a fan of Iron Iron Man or classic Iron Man, you'll love these figures. But if not, I would highly recommend Whirlwind and Iron Man. They're pretty cool. But make no mistake, everything's retro about this classic Iron Man. So which figure here is your favorite? Whirlwind, Living Laser, or Iron Man? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.